I actually came over here because I wanted to go to this anthropology, but I'm gonna go to this czar first, and then we're going to anthropology. I am officially old. This purse looks almost exactly like a purse I had when I was an older teenager, so like 18, 19. I'm officially old. Fabulous. looking for loungewear. I hope I don't get a copyright because of the music. But they have these pants that look really comfortable with this sweater that matches. I think that would be really cute um, loungewear set for me. Every single piece is black. You can't get no color? Good grief. Look at this. <laughs> Gray, black. I love a neutral now, uh, now but like something. Dang. That is definitely one of my least favorite czars. There's so many in the city and I almost never come to that one because they never have what I want. But I'm about to go to um, anthropology now. You guys, look at this super chic Monopoly. Um, vintage bookshelf edition. Are you kidding? That's so cute. How they just make Monopoly chic. Super cute. Anthropology didn't work out. I went there for a very specific thing that they didn't have, so I guess that I will just order it. I will just order it online. So I'm going to <laughs> another place, the Oculus, and then probably to Brooksville Place. did an absolute beautiful job at decorating in here and setting a really Christmas mood from the orchestra to the decorations to the lights it's beautiful if you live in New York come to the oculus I don't know if the orchestra will be playing but it's just it's gorgeous pretty good dupe and they're mad cute not gonna lie and these are just cute I'm not going in because I don't want to be tempted you guys I may or may not have overdressed I asked Alexa if it was cold she said yes and it is but it's not like oh nah brick cold <laughs> so I'm sweating I got this big uh, teddy coat on this big AF sweater <laughs> I'm a little warm I'm not gonna lie to you but we're on our way to Brookfield's place you guys and there was so pretty they had a great little orchestra I would totally suggest you go it was just a nice thing to see I didn't buy anything I'm trying not to be tempted shopping for other people 
actually mommy if you're watching this click off <laughs> i don't want you to see what i may or may not get you so yep on our way to toy Beach. so i stopped by the 9 11 memorial really quickly on my way to um, brookfield and wow you guys i first of all i can't believe it's been 20 something years and second of all i don't know i just feel i feel sadness if you ever lost anyone which i'm sure a lot of us have it just feels i don't know it's just sad r.i.p to those people i don't know <sighs> life is rough <laughs> life life is hard that day actually my dad was working in manhattan at the time and uh, uptown actually i mean no downtown excuse me and if you're from new york you'll get this 9 11 the day of 9 11 daddy had to walk from downtown Manhattan all the way to the Bronx because the subways weren't working. And it's just like, I didn't know where he was. It was just a crazy, a crazy day. So that just brings back so many memories. Oh, wow. That was crazy to see. All right, let's get back to some fun things, back to shopping. Right, of course. But, but it's like an accessory. Like yeah. I love your oh, thank you. <laughs> it's cute, right? I love this. they were playing music um, but if you are ever going to go to the Toy Birch in Brookfield place look for Lainey she was very helpful very sweet I have her card but go in there look for Lainey um, you guys I went in there to see the Toy Birch uh, the cat eye bag that I was talking about in another video it didn't have it unfortunately I wanted to see it in person because I don't, I can't tell if I like it or not. <laughs> so I needed to see it in person. So now I'm gonna go in, there's this place in here, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but this place in here that has French butter. <laughs> and the butter I like to eat is French. One day I was looking at the ingredients, I know you guys might think I'm wacko, but one day I was looking at the ingredients in our butter, and it was the butter we always get, the butter that I've been eating because I was a child probably. There was nothing in there that I could pronounce, so I just started trying to get real butter. So like, I know this sounds nuts to some people, but I, I'm trying to eat things that are real, <laughs> right? So though you don't have to be French butter, this particular butter I like, it sounds nuts. I know, it sounds like I'm trying to be bougie and I'm not trying to be bougie, I'm trying to eat healthy. So anyway, there's this place in here that has a French butter that I like. Um, it's a Madagascar vanilla that I wanted to try. And yeah, let's go back inside. wanted to go to Macy's, Ulta, and Sephora for separate things, but I don't have it in me today, so probably later on in the week. Hey girl, hey. Today it is raining cats and dogs, and this is probably the worst day to be out here but we have a reservation to go see the louis vuitton truck show so we're going to do that and the last time that i was at bergdorf's my husband wasn't with me so since we're close we're going to go to bergdorf's so he could get some ideas of things that he should buy me <laughs> all right let's go So 
we came to the guy's side first. My husband's talking about getting a new umbrella. <laughs> Look at this. You are not that fancy, bro. If you don't get a five dollar umbrella off the street. <laughs> So we just left his side. Now we're going into Bergdorf's on my side. my sweater over my head you guys I just washed my hair and now it's a mess so anyway we couldn't stay that long in uh, Bergdorf so we're gonna go now to the Louis Vuitton exhibit well this most certainly can't be safe how in the world would this even happen what here at the trunk show and okay maybe we haven't gone into the the great part but man first of all I didn't know there was a shit store in New York Second of all, I'm not going to tell y'all again, but these are pretty beautiful. Hey girl, hey. I know that some of you guys were watching this vlog, trying to figure out if I was going to go ahead and get my nails done. Yesterday, I went ahead and fixed my nails. nails um, earlier in the vlog were, was a gel X so I did end up taking off the gel X not because I didn't love it or I didn't think that it was beautiful it's mainly the price I am a person that has to get their nails done and has to but likes to get their nails done um, get electrolytics because I can't get laser because the hair everywhere is gray not everywhere but the place the place where I need electro well the place where I need to be removed is also great, so I'll have to get e electrolysis and not laser. Next week or two weeks, I'm going to get my eyebrows tinted, shaped, and laminated. So, I cost a lot. <laughs> I'm high maintenance. And if I'm going to be high maintenance, I need to ensure that the price stays within my budget. So, though I love the Gel X, um, I just got a what they call a structured manicure. And though they are much shorter, they will grow out and they'll get longer and longer. I think I just, it's hard for me to swallow the idea of paying over a hundred dollars every time to get my nails done every two weeks because I come from the day and age when you could get a full set for $25 right so and even though the gel X is better for your nails non-toxic better for your nails than on um, the acrylic it's still a mental thing so like I said I need to stay within budget to get my hair my eyebrows my eyelashes all that done thing has to be cut down and unfortunately it's gonna be my nails if you are a person that lives in the area and you have not been to the lac lab it is the best experience that's where I get my nails done it is 
beautiful. The music is beautiful. The people are nice. It's clean. It's bright. Um, you could get water or peach bellini. It's just, it's a great place to go get your nails done. It's woman owned. It's black woman owned. Um, but it's not only black folks in there, obviously. It's Brooklyn, so we are sprinkled, you know, um, everybody's sprinkled in there. But I do like the fact that it is woman owned and black woman owned. So if you're in the area, go and check out Lack Lab. Thank you for everybody that helped me with my gray hair situation and my hair situation. I have ordered henna and I'll show you and tell you the results of that. I have got the henna and the indigo. So yeah, it, that's why my hair looks a mess right now because it's actually wash day, but I'm waiting for the henna to get here so that I can do that. I also learned that I should be blow drying my hair with a paddle brush and flat ironing with a paddle brush or with a bristle brush. So I'm gonna try both of those. Pray for a sister. Yeah, so thank you for all my all that help on there. I'm gonna take care of all that, let you guys know. I am the person that can tell you about trends. I can tell you about the creative director of this brand and how it has, you know, elevated since 1999, all that kind of fashion stuff. My hair, my hair is not a thing. I get just, that's just not, it's just not my thing. So anyway, yes, thank you for that. I wanna show you a few of my favorites and I got a few sunglasses that you guys, I wanna show you that are a little interesting. Show you my favorites for the last few months and then I'll show you the sunglasses. So speaking of hair, I tried this Mazzani 25 Miracle Milk. So one of you um, suggested that I use this. It was a long time ago. I've used a lot of it. I don't know if you can see. It's about about right here, maybe? You can't see it. But I've somebody suggested I use this many, many, many months ago. I'm just not getting to it. When you guys suggested I use something, unless I need it right away, I put it on the list and I try to go through the list. Um, but yes, this is good. I love this. I wish that I would have tried it earlier. If you're the person or one of the people that suggested this to me, thank you and i want to try more from their line um i'm really into a nice luxurious hair product this is an interesting one okay so i use a bit of hair of i use a bit of edge control but this stuff i could only use right before wash day or if i'm going to need my hair to hold for a few days this is too <laughs> it's it's almost too strong there's a piece of hair in there so that's gross sorry there's a piece of hair in there but i i don't use it every day because i don't mind my hair being a little puffy i mean i'm black with natural hair that's what happens puffy hair happens um but when i do want a bit of edge control i use this but this stuff you're gonna have to wash your hair soon after so if you're the kind of person that likes to keep your hair in a certain style for a while this is it because lord have mercy extra firm hold yeah <laughs> i don't use it often but when i do i know it's my my hairstyle is gonna hold if you've been following me for a while you remember that i got this and it's my favorite and i recently rediscovered it i love this chanel powder okay so i know it seems a little bougie and it is this is the second time in this vlog of me trying to explain to you guys that i'm not bougie while simultaneously <laughs> being bougie but <laughs> this chanel powder is one of my favorites i'm like rediscovered it it is what color is this I am probably in the darkest color. I will put it in the description box, but yes, I've been loving this. Also, if you've been following me for a while, you know this is my favorite. This is the Tom Ford um, Ravish. I think the color is Ravish um, lip gloss, and this is my second tube. Love this stuff. It is just a nice little neutral for a brown girl like me. And yeah, I rediscovered this. This is a Saffinade. Don't know if you can really tell, but I've used so much of this. I only usually use this in the fall and the winter, and I've been using this so much. And I've actually been mixing it with Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which I know a lot of people don't like, but it smells so warm and delicious and scrumptious on me. So if you haven't smelled the Parfum de Mali um, Saffinade, go ahead and give it a whiff. It is just gorgeous I love this and then this Ben Nye final seal it's a little dirty I have my makeup on it so the other day if you guys watched the the vlog from the beginning you saw that I had on this all cream outfit and when you wear all that you need some type of defense if you're wearing makeup this final seal stuff is the truth now it is not like pretty like the charlotte tilbury one it's very very basic and i and and honestly you still do get some makeup on but just on your like your shirt but no 
wear as near as it is if I don't use this. Have you tried this Ben Nye Finder Sale? I might be late to the game, but yeah, I love this stuff. It's been really, really working out for me. And finally, if you are one of the people that tried to order these earrings from my last blog that I was wearing, um, they are sold out, they got sold out, keep checking back for them because they were out of stock and then they're in stock and then they're out of stock and they're in stock. But these are very beautiful, inexpensive, like nine, ten dollars or something like that on ASOS. Um, but look like they cost more than that. I used to have them in gold. I missed them out in gold, so I got them in silver they also have recently i recently bought them and they're in the mail um in gold but they're smaller than this i'll show you when they come but i just wanted to tell you guys to keep checking back because they've been coming in and out of stock okay so let me show you these sunglasses these are not something that i would normally pick up or that i would normally be drawn to um you could kind of see my sunglasses style if they're usually um maybe see through you like you can see my eyes a bit they are a little dramatic in that they are glamorous the sunglasses that i'm about to show you are less glamorous um more fashiony and i'm thinking fashion week so my girl liz if you don't follow her channel i will put her channel in the description box she does affordable and plus size fashion she's a great resource for a lot of things i will put her down there um she did a video about these little wet these little weve, nope these lorve sunglasses and i wasn't gonna get them at first um but then i saw her and then that sent me on a rabbit hole and i watched all these other people get them i was like okay let me try them i am thinking again ahead to fashion week now you guys know last fashion week I was not prepared I will not let that happen again well, they for sure come packaged better than this I just couldn't wait for y'all so I had to open all them sorry my bad but I, I opened them they were in this is the sunglasses case so the sunglasses case was in a box and then the then they were in plastic so they came very well packaged let me show you why I say they are for fashion week for me and not something that I would normally wear so these i see on everyone looks so cool i swear to you my 16 year old self had some sunglasses similar to this and this is not something that i would probably gravitate towards again we're thinking fashion week let me show you them on my face okay so a hundred percent my 16 year old self has something like these i'm pretty sure i have a picture if i could find them i'll put it in <laughs> but i'm 100 percent sure i had something very similar these um whew, what do i think about them on me anyway see i see them on other people and i think they look amazing but on me i would have to wear smaller earrings even though these are pretty small but just like studs and keep all the hair off of my face or like a really sh sharp kind of style not like in a, a ponytail if i did it would be like a really tight bun for me and my face shape think fashion week and let me know <laughs> let me know what you think now remember fashion week has to be something that is a little extra and i feel like these are a hundred percent just a little bit extra okay so these i feel very comfortable in i feel like i would just wear these i would wear these today if it wasn't raining i love these i will love this with a similar color lip and like a, 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 a blazer with my collar pop. Yeah, these these are not anything that are crazy or out of the ordinary for me. I would 100% wear these. Love these. I thought they are going to be too small for my face, but I don't think that they are. Again, think fashion week. Not even. I think I would just wear these. I like these, child. I like that they are not just black or brown and they're like a deep red. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And these are the same as the red ones, right? Just with a yellow frame and a blue. Now, I have yellow frame sunglasses. That's not really the problem. I guess there's not really a problem because they're definitely fashion -y, definitely for fashion week. I guess the reason why I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull these out daily is because the blue and yellow combination but maybe it was just like a really i want to say toned down i mean you can do it with a toned down outfit but with an outfit that doesn't have too many colors in it like a a neutral kind of outfit with these sunglasses that might be something so yeah guys think fashion week like i said no wait a minute do i like these i might like these think fashion week don't think classic like i said fashion week you have to do a little something extra i think i might i might could do something with this so this lady at my school used to stay when I was in college. I might could make this work. <laughs> I really might could. 
I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I'm probably gonna, I mean, you can tell me what you think, but I'm definitely gonna keep them um, just to have Fashion Week stuff. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna finish the vlog with these sunglasses. Nah, no, I like these. Ah, I like these though, I like these. I'm just gonna finish the vlog with these, darling. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for helping with my hair. I'll let you know what happened. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You have no idea. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you in my very next video.